Cheers, friends. Uh, doing a little Dunkin' Donuts today. Not feeling like the flamethrower coffee I've been drinking the last couple days. How's everybody doing? Welcome back. Got a, uh, a quick little video today. Nothing special. Gonna show off, um, show off a haul of minis and then show off a couple of other little hauls that I got of, uh, just a few individual things I got. Um, it shouldn't take too long. I'm thinking maybe 15 minutes or so. Um, so yeah, coffee's out of the way. Um, what am I sampling today? I am sampling one of the minis coming up. So, um, we'll do that in a minute. Uh, scent of the day. Scent of the day is this beauty. Get my handy dandy. Handy dandy towel here. Um, it's this beauty I got not too long ago after putting it off for quite some time. Fahrenheit Absolute. If you remember what my scent of the day was Monday, then you'll know what to, this week's theme is for my, uh, for my weekly rotation. So that's scent of the day. Here's the box if anybody cares. Um, I like the packaging on the absolute. It's kind of dark, mysterious. Um, let's see, what else? Uh, I guess that's it. Oh, um, all right. Well, let's just jump right in, I guess. Um, what I'm sampling right now is an older version of something that I actually have um, a newer version of, and that is Armani O. And... This black, kind of black ridging at the bottom is, is a little bit of an indicator of its, of it being older. Um, it doesn't have that on, doesn't have that on the bottle, but, um, but it does, um, uh, but it is the older one and there is a difference. Um, this one is, uh, the newer version that I have, it's not brand new, but it's, I'd say maybe 10 years old. Um, is more citrus heavy and rich at the top where this one is, uh, has a lot more herbs and spices to it. Um, so there is a bit of a difference. It's basically the same composition. Both are quality. The newer one has some quality to it. Um, but the older one has a lot more herbs and spices. I'm not sure which one I like, if I'm honest. Um, the, the newer one is the, the top is just so rich with that orange. Um, I mean, it really is very nice. Um, that one is a little bit more throwback. It has those herbs and spices of, uh, things like, uh, Van Cleef and Arpels, Porom, and, um, maybe, uh, maybe something like Calvin or, Gucci, the original Gucci. Um, okay, so let's just, I'm just going to rip through these. Um, I'm just showing off stuff that, that I got minis for. Um, I don't know. It just kind of happened that I, like, started to pick up these minis. They kind of fell in my lap, so. Um, and they're a really good way to get, uh, a lot of these are, are things that I already have. It's just for the mini collection, but... Um, Quite a few of these are things that I don't have that I've always been curious about. It's a great way to sample. So this is Calvin. I'm very stoked to get this. I, You would think this would be uh, pretty hard to get uh, a mini of Calvin. See um, Calvin Klein's first release. And uh, pretty cool, right? And it's in cherry condition. The juice smells fantastic. This is a great fragrance. Um, all right, I'll rip through these. This is a favorite of my friend, the duck. This is Balenciaga Poor Um, what is this? This is uh seven mils, maybe eight mils. Ah, I am totally mistaken. This is four mils. Look at that. How great is that? I have Balenciaga, but um, it's kind of cool to have the uh the mini uh all right let's just keep plugging now this one is very cool 
that this exists in the world. It's only got a we got a smattering of the juice left, but this is um this is uh <laughs> why is it just uh, Romeo Jiggly uh per Womo. Sorry, I don't know why that just I just blanked out on that one. Um and you'll see the bottle only has like a, a smattering of that juice, but you're not. I have a full bottle of this, so let's see. I'm hoping you guys can see this. I can't see how clear you're seeing it, but hopefully it's clear enough. Um, okay, let's uh, keep cracking. Uh, here is one that I've been wanting to sample for a very long time. Uh, it's gotten a little bit of hype amongst my friends. Um, and this is called Bally. Hoping you can see that pretty well. Uh a little bit of info on the back there uh and this is a a really big bottle it's a 10 mil bottle so this will give me an opportunity to really uh give this one a good sampling um i don't know a lot about that and some of these i will circle back the ones that i haven't don't have full bottles of um that i'm interested in i will circle back maybe for an individual run down whether I'm going to buy them or not. Um, so we'll see. This is Il de Lanchetti. I'm interested in this one too. I don't have this. So I will be giving this one, uh, give this one a run, give this one a run down and see if I, see if I dig that cool little bottle. It's only about halfway full, but that should be enough to get a sense of it. Um, okay, let's rip right through. Um, this one is called Aryo, E-R-Y-O. If anybody has any information about this, let me know. Um, I've never heard of it. Uh, how well you can read that stuff on the back. Pretty cool little bottle. Um, nice little packaging. Uh, I don't know what this is, but I, I kind of got a little, got a little bit on my hand this morning, and uh, it's kind of Kind of a fresh aquatic. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, okay, this one I think I've... For some reason, I think I've shown this before. This is Or Black by Pascal Morabito. Um, this is really good. I've been sampling this uh, over the last couple of days. And uh, this is really very nice. This is a good fragrance. Um, if I can find it for a decent price, I'll pick it up. But... Um, just a cursory look it's going for it's going for big dollars um i don't know too much about this one if anybody has any information about any of these drop it drop it in the comments i'd love to know um this is called regines for men anybody familiar with this if you are hit me up i'd love to know what you what you think about it or what you know about it cool little bottle well, you can see that but yeah it's a cool little packaging and design so um okay what's next okay this i have actually a full bottle right here on my desk this is moschino poor Ohm. and uh i already have this so this is just a cool little addition to the um to the mini collection i actually have it right here i have a full-size bottle of it right here that's i have the uh, vice versa bottle which is kind of cool i think i've shown that off before okay i think we're getting down to the last of the boxed the boxed minis and then i have just uh just a bunch of loose minis um Okay, there's another one I don't know anything about. Did I show these? I feel like I've shown these before. Um, okay. This one is called Nordic. And it looks to be a Nordic type fragrance. I, I don't know anything about this house. If anybody has any information, hit me up. Cool bottle. Um, I'm going to try to do a little research in some of these ones that I'm that I'll circle back to and sh uh, give a little bit of a rundown. I will see if I can't find out who designed the packaging. 
and a little more information about the the, the fragrance itself um, this is of course Ralph Lauren this is Silver Shadow um, <clears throat> I don't know too much about this one if anybody does hit me up any any little tidbits of information that you guys throw my way would be appreciated um, some of this stuff is like some of this stuff is really kind of obscure like that last one that Nork um, I did a I did a little bit of a look-see about it, and I couldn't find any information about it. Um, and some uh, some of you that are overseas may be more familiar with this stuff than <clears throat> than we are here in the states. And uh, uh, any information would be very cool. This is Jill Sander Pure. This I am curious about, as I am a fan of the House of Jill Sander. So. Um, Here's the bottle, kind of a cool bottle, kind of in line with a, a lot of the Jill Sanders older bottles. Oh, it's got this like kind of indent to it. Um, all right, let's see. Moving right along, here is a modern fragrance. Um, this was there, so kind of got bundled up. This is Mont Blanc Legend Night. Um, I'm actually curious about this one. I've heard good things about this. And I'm not above a Mont Blanc fragrance. I have several in my collection. Um, Mont Blanc just does nice, easy, good smelling, cheap fragrances. Um, so I'm not shy to I'm not shy to say I like some of them. Uh, this I have a this I actually have a travel atomizer of, and uh, this is Paco Rabanne Pour Homme O. That reflection's deadly. I don't know if you can see that. Maybe that. There you go. Um, Paco Rabanne Pour Homme O. Um, so I already know what this, uh, I already know what this smells like. And maybe I can reach the, this is, this is a very cool little, I guess, limited edition travel atomizer. Um, you can see that. It's in like a plastic case. And slides out like so and believe it or not this little thing is a this is a 50 mil and it's just kind of a like a pocket atomizer pocket the spray is here and this is really very good um this is it's a lighter version and it has hints of of the original pocket Rabanne. but there's a slight fruitiness to this one um I don't know, maybe it's just me, but I get a fruitiness to this one that, um, the, the ever slightest sweetness to this Paco Rabanne Pour Homme O. Um, okay, let's get this out of the way. Oh, I didn't show that. With that Bally's, um, that Bally's came with a, a little bit of an insert on the inside, which I think is kind of cool. And it shows off, um, shows off a lot of the line that and obviously everything in different languages i always think that's kind of cool maybe i'm the only one but that's kind of cool excuse my band-aid cut my freaking thing my finger at dinner um all right let's see a couple more and then we've got a few unboxings to do let's see if i can make snap as much annoying noise as possible all right this is something i have a full bottle of and i'm a huge fan of this is Fendi Womo. Um, cool, right? The cap's the same. The bottle's not the same. It doesn't have the leather sides to it like the other one. Um, but nonetheless, very cool. Uh, okay. Let's see. Running out of room over here. All right. This is, this is something that's a little bit confusing because I can't seem to find a large bottle of this. This is Jill Sander Man 3. I don't know how well you can see that writing there. Um, maybe I'm not holding it right. No, I am. Jill Sander Man 3. The only thing that I can find with this same bottle, with the same writing on the side, same color juice, is one called Jill Sander Man. And that's all it says on it. It doesn't say 3, but it is the exact same bottle. Um, anybody that has any information about about this did they change did they drop them three off of this in the larger uh, packaging i don't know 
Um, but this is a very good fragrance. I've been testing. You can see I, I put that dent in there. So um, I want to keep an eye out for that one. Uh, okay. Let's see. What is this? This is Romance, I believe. Ralph Lauren's Romance. Pretty nifty, yeah. I have a full bottle of... Or no, actually, I think I have... I think I have the aftershave of this. This is the Eau de Toilette. Um, good fragrance, though. Ralph Lauren's Romance. All right. Oldie but a goodie. Believe it or don't, this being one of my first fragrances I ever owned, I don't have a full bottle of this. Um, and this is a Cosme version. It smells glorious. Whoever had these minis, or I know the guy that had these minis and he kept them very well. Um, I need to, I need to get a bottle. You can see the writing there. I need to get a bottle of, of this stuff for the collection. Um, just for reference, just as a, you know, reference to the past. Okay. I have the aftershave version of this. Um, this is Free Life by Etienne Agne. This I want to get into because the aftershave, while it's good, it's a little bit fleeting and, and, uh, I think this, I think the, from what I hear, uh, the Eau de Toilette is very good. Um, I, I did like the aftershaves, but I wasn't like blown away. So maybe that Eau de Toilette will show me something more. Um, what is this? This is something that a guy named Rafi, uh, Rafi, he's got a channel, um, very good YouTuber out of, out of Australia, if you ever get a chance to check out his channel. He raves about this one. This is called Miracle Ohm. And uh, I want to get into this one. Uh, I have a feeling this is just a clean kind of summer day fragrance. It's probably a nostalgia thing for him, but he's steered me in the right direction on a few fragrances. Um, okay, this is... I think this is oh this is this is something I've been looking forward to trying. This is Sport de Paco Rabanne. I've been looking uh, into trying this and see if it's worth a full bottle. Worth it to go after a full bottle. Um, that I was happy to pick up. Uh, okay, this I have a full bottle of, and this is Zerius Rouge by Givenchy. Pretty cool, right? These minis just. Just awesome that they make these. That was a nice catch. Do you see that? I wish I could edit. I would play that back. <laughs> uh, one of these days I'll learn how to edit. Okay, what is this? This is Etienne Aigne. And this is uh, number two. Etienne Aigne. I know it looks like Etienne Eigner. But Eigner. And maybe that is the way to pronounce it. If anybody really knows how to pronounce the name of this, I heard it said Etienne Aigne. But if anybody really knows how to pronounce the name of this house, if it's Etienne Eigner or Einer or if the G is silent, I don't know. Hit me up because I always feel shy when I say the name of this house, but I'm a big fan of that house. So I'm looking forward to trying that. Uh, this is something I have a bottle of, and this is Boss Sport. This is uh, one of one of the house's first releases. Um, I have Boss Number One, and I have the Boss Sport. Um, very good fragrance. Is one of the best sport fragrances all time, in my opinion. Uh, <clears throat> this is um, I have Santos de Cartier, but I don't have uh, I don't have this one. This is Eau de Sport. Uh, Santos de Cartier, and I'm interested in trying this one. This is a little bit of a ghost. Um, we don't see this very often. To have a mini of it, I'm, I couldn't be happier, to be honest with you. And I have a bottle of this, believe it or not. This is Roma Womo. Um, this is a really nice orangey kind of vanilla fragrance. Um, Rafi, Rafi, um, raves about this one too this is a good one there's a couple of flankers that i'm interested in too okay that is it for the minis that uh has expanded my mini collection uh almost doubled it basically um okay 
so what what did I pick up? Uh, one thing I I unboxed everything with the exception of of this one here. I'll unbox this now, but um, the other one I unboxed it just to save us some trouble. So um, I will uh, the first one I unbox and I I couldn't I couldn't wait to wear it. I've been I've been keeping an eye out for this one uh, because I hear it's being discontinued and um, it's not that easy to get a hold of, but it's on discounters right now. If you ever get a chance, Bellamy Vetiver. This is a killer fragrance. I like Bellamy. I love Bellamy, but this is winning me over. Um, so I saw this pop up on discounters and I snagged it right away. And this is the newest version, um, and I couldn't be happier about it. Uh, this one's going to get a lot of wear. It's going to get a lot of wear. And uh, another one that uh, that I took a chance on. Um, I've been a fan of this house for a while. Uh, I sampled a few over the past year, and I've been really impressed with the the quality, the, the creativity. Um, this is Electimus. And I haven't even unwrapped it yet. This is uh, called Beachy Leather. B-I-C-I -I Leather. Beachy Leather. Um, okay, let's see. Try to get this out without destroying the packaging too much. Um, the bottles and the packaging on this this house are just stunning. Check out that packaging. How cool is that? And it's a uh, obviously a cough red. And let's open it up. This bottle is just this bottle is something. I've been stoked waiting for this for the last week. Is how how awesome is that packaging? Not where well you can see that, but um, I have been waiting for some time. Look at these bottles. This is this is officially the heaviest bottle in my collection. Um, it's amazing. Look at that. Look at the bottle. Um, this one is uh. I'm gonna have to circle back and give this uh give this a proper review. This is good. And there is a uh there is a very haunting tuberose in the middle of this that's uh just fantastic. This is shooting up my charts of favorite leathers. Um I have another fragrance, another suede fragrance. Um from Richard James called uh, Savile Row, which has a, a similar type tuberose in the middle of it that, that does sort of the same thing as this does. And man, this is, I am uh, over the moon about this one. And believe it or not, these are pretty pricey, but believe it or not, I got this on the discounted for a, a pretty decent price. Um, some of these can be had for just over a hundred bucks, uh, believe it or don't. Um, Okay, and last but certainly not least is a package all the way from the Queensland. Well, not Queensland, that's Australia, right? But Great Britain. Well, really lucky, son, but it's, uh, it was in Great Britain at one time, I, I would imagine. And this one caught my eye and uh, so I pulled the trigger on it and this is from Centauri perfumes this is Peter Carter's house it's a youtuber he has a channel called fragrance view and uh, I've been wanting to get one of his fragrances for a very long time I had Dendera on my list forever, and I just never got around to getting it. I don't know why, because I really like that fragrance. And um, I haven't done anything but put a spritz of this on my hand, so I'm going to need some more time to even give 
my initial thoughts on it. But the packaging, let's just do this real quick. And I, just for the record, I paid for this, all of it. Um, the packaging is exceptional. For somebody that does everything themselves, uh, this is impressive. The packaging, the little card that comes with it, gives you the notes. I love this idea. I wish more houses would would catch on to this. Um, bottle. I'd always thought this bottle was going to be small and like kind of not substantial, if you know what I mean. But I was pleasantly surprised. The plaque, the cap, the bottling, it's thick, it's hefty in the hand. The cap is, it's, the cap is solid. Um, look at the artistry on that cap. Um, Peter did all this himself. And uh, I've been watching his channel for a few years. And he's an interesting cat. He, he did all this himself. I find that inspiring. Um, did the... The bottling, the packaging, the labeling, the design, the juice. Um, I like patronizing small houses like this. Um, it's uh, I just out of the just out of the cap. This smells really good. And he sent along, well, not he, but Lucky sent sent along a couple of his other samples. Uh, and I sampled Ohm. I think in my last video I mentioned it. I may have to circle back around for Ohm. Ohm is a good fragrance. Um, and now that I've got one of his, got one of his fragrances and uh, I've been impressed so far, I will, I will circle back with some of my uh, more in detail thoughts, but uh, Ohm, Ohm's looking like a full bottle purchase. Um, so, uh, okay, I think that's everything. Uh, did we run real long? I hope we didn't run too long. Um, yeah, so there's just some additions to the mini collection, some additions to the regular collection. Um, hope you enjoyed everything. Like I said, if there's anything about any of these minis, any little bit of information you guys can can throw my way, um, any suggestions off of anything I've shown, um, always looking, always looking to learn. Uh, and I appreciate the interaction in the comments. You guys have a great night. Stay grateful. Peace.